In this guitar lesson, we're going to be going over John Mellencamp's Pink Houses. That is a really, really cool intro that I can't wait to show you step by step. Let's get into it. Now let's talk about the chords we're going to be using for the song. We got a G chord, we got a C chord, we got a D chord, and I'm so, so sorry. A couple times in the verses, we do have an F chord. But if you are not great with bar chords, you can always use the F major 7, the four-fingered version, or the three-fingered version. It'll work perfectly fine. So let's talk about that really cool intro that we're going to be playing. Let's see how it sounds first. It's going to sound like this. So this intro plays through and it comes back in throughout the song, so it's pretty important to get. I'm going to show you a framework. Now, I don't always play it consistently this way. Whenever I teach songs, I always tell people, like, it's not really about perfection, it's about getting the essence of the song. Because most people, if you play songs for friends, they're not going to be like, you played that wrong. Only a real jerk would tell you that. Um, so what we're going to do is show you the essence of what we're doing here. So we got a G chord, okay, and we're playing this bass note, the top string of the G chord, okay? And then we're lifting up our first finger, which is on this B note, and we're hitting the open string, and then hamming, hammering down, so it's, okay? And then we're hitting an open G string. I hit the open D string before, but it's the open G string, okay? That's the first part. And then we're strumming the G chord. All right, so all together it's gonna be, So what's the timing on this? Because timing is very important. This first note is a pickup. So it doesn't really, it doesn't start on one. It starts on and after four. It's a little pickup. Once we get through the next part of the intro, you'll see it turns into a round. So this is going to be and, one, E, and, two. And, one, E, and, two. Okay? And then what I like to do is I like to strum another down on the and after two. So it's going to be and one, e, and two, and three, four. Okay, that's your first measure. A uh, one, e, and two, and three, four. Okay, now we get into a second measure. And what we're doing is switching to a C major chord and we're going to do one, two, and then on the up strum, we're going to switch to a G chord. Okay, so again, the second measure is just one, two, and then up strum is the G chord. We're kind of hopping the rhythm. We're changing on an up strum versus a down strum. So if we put this all together, it's going to sound like this. can spice it up as much as you want. You can add to it. You can take away from it. And I think the important part, what I really want you guys to get out of this, it doesn't always have to be perfect. If you miss that hammer on, sometimes I miss the hammer on. Or sometimes I mute the string by accident. Even if you just went, if you just hit that bass note and strum the G again, it gives you the essence of the song. I just I just kept playing that bass note. So it was, was So it just goes you, you could you could play it exactly like the song if you want to. And that's what I really love to emphasize on this channel, guys. It, again, it does not have to be perfect. As long as you capture the essence of the song and you're having fun with it, that's really the key. So let's hop into these verses now. We have a lot of G chord. It's mostly G, which is great. Again, that F chord pops it a couple times. We're going to talk about that. So a strumming pattern that we could use, you could just use a simple down, down, up, up, down, up. 
works great for this song. Now, the first time we come across, across the F chord, so we're going to play six measures of a G chord. Okay, so we hang on on that G chord nice and easy. When we get to our first F chord, it's going to be like the intro. We're hopping the measure. So I would do one, two, and. Okay, down, down, up, up, down. Up. So I take that strumming pattern, one, two, and, and four, and, and it would be one, two, then the up strum is going to go to the C. And, and, four, and. Okay. So we're going to be changing on the up strum. And then the second time we come across the F, he changes it. It's a full measure. And then it's a C for full measure. So the first time we come across the F and the C, they split a measure. And then the next time we come across the F and the C, they're full measures. All right. So let me just play through this verse so that you guys get a feel for it. Okay. We're going to take it for the top. One, two, one, two, ready. There's a black man. With a black cat living in a black neighborhood. He's got a an estate running through his front yard. You know he thinks he's got it so good. Well, there's a woman in the kitchen cleaning up the evening slop. He looks at her and says, Hey, darling, I can remember when you could stop. We got Ain't That America, the chorus part that comes in, and I'm going to give you an option to change the strumming pattern here. Now, you could easily keep the same strumming pattern for the entire song. That's totally fine. But something that I like to do to differentiate verses from choruses is to sometimes change up the strumming pattern. So if this is something you're not familiar with, it's a great skill to practice. So what I would recommend is maybe going to a straight eighth note pattern one and two and three and four and all up down 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 up one and two and three and four and and all i'm doing all i'm doing there you probably maybe heard a little bit of a difference i'm accenting i'm just strumming a little bit harder on two and four gives it a little bit more of a drum feel well ain't that very good you and me, baby, ain't that America? Something to see, baby, ain't that America? Home of the free, yeah. Little thing I was in for you and me. So you can see how it adds a little bit of of dynamic and then you go from this pattern right back into the intro. It sounds really, really cool. And you notice on the chorus we had no F chord. Okay, kept it nice and simple. Let's go through that chorus one more time, okay, with that strumming pattern if you guys want to give it a try. So we got one, two, one, two, ain't that America? Who and me, baby, ain't that America? Something to see, baby, ain't that America? Home of the free, yeah. Little big houses for you and me. Ready, back to intro. See, again, went to that intro, played whatever the hell I wanted, you know, as long as you get the essence of the song. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to take it from that intro. We're going to play through the verse and the chorus. If I'm going too fast on this, feel free. Use that settings cog down there. Slow things down if you have to, to play along with me. Ready? One, two, one, two, ready. <laughs> So 
If you're looking for a great way to develop your strumming, then I highly recommend you go check out that video over there where we're gonna take one simple rhythm and we're gonna turn it into six or seven different strumming patterns by making small tweaks. It's super cool. Go check out that video right over there.